Hi there, I'm Mark and I'm interested in space repetition and language learning. Space repetition is the idea that once you learn something, you'll remember it for a certain amount of time, say one day, and if you review it just before you would have forgotten, then you'll remember it longer before you forget it again, maybe three days. And if you review before that, you'll remember a week and a half, and then maybe over a month. And after 10 successful reviews in a row, you'll remember something for over a year, if you've spaced them optimally. The thing a lot of people do is they, they don't review quite enough at the beginning, and then they review way too much later. Like uh, if you review something every week, then you're going to have a really tough time remembering it for the whole week. But once you've got it down past that, then continuing to review every week is way too much. So spaced repetition will let you figure out when to review things so you uh, you don't waste time. You, you Optimize it so you're you're reviewing everything just often enough. This is great for learning uh, just set discrete bits of information. It's used in uh, flashcard systems for language learners, and um, I found it really useful for learning to write Chinese characters because it's it's just one discrete bit of information. Problem is, language learning isn't just about learning words. The word knows in English. Is only like it's only useful for people or similar animals, but you can't say like an elephant's nose, that's a trunk, or like a pig's nose, that would be a snout. But in Japanese, the word hana, or in Chinese, like uh, beads, is, is nose for all of them. Like nose, trunk, snout, just one word. So it's not a one to one mapping. The other problem is coallocations. We use chunks of language bigger than words together, and they're there aren't like specific grammatical rules, but there are patterns and we have lots and lots of common chunks. Like if I say, how are you? You could say, I'm absolutely wonderful. Or you could say, I'm really good. But you can't really say I'm really wonderful or I'm absolutely good. It's not a grammatical problem, but it just sounds unnatural to people and that's because you've got the wrong coallocation. So, space repetition is really cool, but you still have to have lots of comprehensible input, as linguists call it. That's doing lots of reading that you understand or listening to lots of language you understand.